Good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're participating from. I'm back here again. Um, for those of you who are new to our channel, this is Sami Bube, the CEO of Tradaton Academy, the foremost leading financial literacy academy in the world. And um, I want to congratulate the members of our community who are doing a lot, um, claiming free tokens, you know, and coins and all that. So in this video, I do not just want to um, explain something on CXP. I want to go further to give us some um, advanced information that will guide us. Now, in case you are new to this channel, there is a whole lot of things you may want to learn. First of all, CXP is um, an airdrop token by CXP.io, which is an exchange, okay? Um, an exchange platform, all right? That is centralized exchange platform, all called SEX. That's the reason for the CXP, okay? So we'll get into all of that. We have centralized exchanges, we have decentralized exchanges. So, um, but that's the much I can say on that. Then the next thing you need to know is, you know, I talked about airdrop, I talked about cryptocurrency. So what I'm going to be doing, because there are several other videos I'm going to be doing out or rolling out as the case were, but I want to quickly give a hint. Some of you are actually new to the cryptocurrency space. You don't know what cryptocurrency is all about. You know about currencies, but you don't understand the crypto aspect. So I'm going to give you this definition. You can write it down um, for your reference. So a cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency. That's the first thing you need to know about cryptocurrency. It's not like your US dollar, your Australian dollar, or your cities, all right, or any currency you use in your country. This is virtual, purely virtual. It does not have a physical representative of it. And one of the reasons people use it is to make transactions online. Are you with me? So the whole concept of cryptocurrency was, um, well, I say was helped more or facilitated more due to online engagement of more people. So you notice you go to, let's say, for example, you go to a store, an online store to purchase something. And they're like, okay, you can also pay with this currency because according to what we were taught in commerce um, back in our high school days, a currency is a, a tender, like a Lego tender. Money is a Lego tender, something that a, a group of people accept as a means of payment. So if you are offering me something that I think is worth value and that we accept as a means of payment then it's a you know it's a currency it can circulate within our ecosystem so i'm going further on that i'm not going to give you so much um definitions as the case here so i'm just going to talk about airdrop okay and the purpose of airdrop airdrops are just a cryptocurrency airdrop is a marketing stunt all right it's a marketing stunt that involves sending free coins or tokens to wallet addresses to promote awareness of a new currency okay so just like salespeople, let's say they have a new product maybe like a new toothpaste they say okay use this we are giving it to you for free so they can now make purchase of more so that is what airdrops are all about i'll take that again it's all about giving out free coins or tokens to wallet addresses to promote awareness of a new currency. So that's what Notcoin has done. That's what ICE have done. And ICE, mind you, ICE, they are not done yet. So those of you that mind ICE, remember, they just distributed 30% of your total balance. That means about 70% is still cooking, just like you have in Pi. Now, one other thing I want to talk about in this video is how do you identify legitimate projects? There are several parameters to do that, but you can join my WhatsApp group um, on, or Telegram group to learn more because that's where I get to coach people on a wider scale. And of course, we run a Forex Mastery um, program where you get to learn how to trade Forex. The mentorship is for life. I'm going to talk more about that when, when we are doing um, a video on Forex. But right now, I want to show us, the reason I'm showing us this CXP is because this coin is going to list and I'll tell you why coins have value based on usage now cx.io is already an exchange all right just like kucoin and other exchanges binance when binance launched bnb i know at the time it was around okay before it got to 16.8 dollars it was way beyond below that and now it's well over 600 dollars 
So what you need to look out for is who are the people behind the projects, okay? That's one of the things I keep emphasizing. Some of you are asking me, how do we how do we detect legitimate projects? I just tell you one of the things I said in my other videos, I said, look for those that are behind it. Then secondly, what problem are they trying to solve? Then the third thing I want to add in this video is what is the utility backing the coin, all right? In this case, it's called CX points. That's the CXP. So it's going to be used as a medium of exchange within the CX.io app, which I'm going to be showing us very quickly. Well, first of all, we have done a video on this, how to use or how to mine these points. As you can see, I have there about 8,174.01 CX points. So how to do it is very simple. First, you can tap this central button, as you can see I'm doing. And as I'm doing that, this is depleting, okay? So I'm going to stop right about here because that's not what I really want to do in the video. So I'm going to tap on clean and it has cleaned, all right? It adds to my balance. As you can see, it's now 82,000. So I talked about the task and I tell you people, anytime you come for any airdrop project, please ensure you do the tax. Why? Because if you remember the definition I gave to you about airdrop, it's all about creating awareness. So for example, they say invite friends, like and share. They're just trying to let you know, okay, we are here, you know, help us to let more people know we are here, all right? Watch their videos and get more extra points and all of that. So in other words, they want to give you the points, but they want to ensure you are really doing a work just like um btc bitcoin was um programmed on the protocol of proof of work that's pow you know where you had to have computers or all called nodes being connected you know and mining taking place so you need to actually prove you are doing something before we can give you the points while we are still creating awareness so this is the farm as you can see is counting um i think after four hours i can just come and clean right about here and of course, squad refers to your friends. I'm going to drop the invite link um, at the description box. You can join me on this project if you think it's worthwhile. That's after doing your own research. And that reminds me, whether you come to Traderton Academy channel or you go to anybody's channel to view any information that has to do with money, whether you are investing money or not, always do your own research because at the end of the day, you're investing your time. Yeah, and you don't want to put your time into something that will not turn out reasonably at the end of the day. So always do your own research. That's D-Y-O-R. That's the acronym, all right? So why I'm doing this video is to show you guys how to connect your wallet, all right, to this app so that at the end of this process, you can easily make withdrawals, all right? So I'm still thinking of how to title the video, but I'll come up with something cool. Now, I want to talk about it quickly. So it's how with tasks. We're going to come to tasks all right now because i've done this process i'm just going to go to completed for you it will be on new because probably you've not done it at the time of watching this video so this is the task i'm talking about register in cx.io app now the reason i'm doing the video is because a whole lot of people don't really know how to do this and some of them are having a lot of challenge okay so i have done this already so how do you do it first there will be an email prompt on this app all right there's an email you used to sign up that you that we requested from you once you want to start this project now that is the same email you will use to register on cx.io app so once you want to what you want to quickly do is to come to google app store or apple app store depending on whether you are using um android device or apple app device and you want to go to the Play Store and type cex.io. I'm going to do that right about now. So when you type cex.io, it's going to bring out for you the app for you to download. Okay, I'm just going to type okay, cx.io wallet. Still the same thing. So it's asking me to update. I can do that after the video. But it's actually installed on my device already. And it has a 4.2 star rating. Okay so i'm going to show it to us on my yeah so this is the app cx.io app all right so i'm going to open it right about now now when you open this cx.io it's going to prompt you to create a new account but because i already have an account um it's just going to be showing the same balance you show you saw on the app okay this is what the interface looks like it's asking you to whether you want to buy bitcoin you can pay with google pay and all that but that's not actually what i'm going to get into right about now okay so as you can see this is the balance on my app as soon as they launch all you need to do is to come here and claim all right 
So it's more like, like I said, a centralized exchange that they are building. So what you have to do, you can buy, you can receive, you can send, you can convert, you know, currencies on this app, CX.io. So what they will, you will first see a prompt to register. Ensure you register with the same email address, please write, that you used in that app, okay? And when you are verifying your identity, listen carefully. Use either your passport or driver's license. If you try to use your local, what's it called, identity, it may work or identifying documents, whether you are in Afghanistan, Belarus, Turkey, um, or, you know, anywhere. It will work, but it's always preferable to use your passport so that you can easily verify, okay? And they will send you an email to tell you you have successfully verified your account. That is the only way this balance will be showing. If you use a different email address, this balance here will not be showing. So I'm going to end this video right about here. So all you have to do, you don't need to do any other withdrawal. We just need to keep mining on the app every four hours as I've shown you. And if you have any further questions, you can drop it on the comment section or you can join my Telegram group and ask your questions and I'll be quick to respond. So I'm going to drop the website for our Forex Mastery for those of you that are interested. Um, I'm going to talk about Forex in another video, but for right now, this is just it on CXP. So I'll see you in the next video. Catch you.